My gastroenterologist was trying to find out the cause of my gut issues. Glucose testing ruled SIBO out. Next came the CCAT test. This stands for the 75 selenium homocolic acid taurine test. This test is the gold standard for diagnosis of bile acid malabsorption. My gastroenterologist says the ileum or small intestine is often damaged by chemotherapy. Bile acid malabsorption occurs when your body has trouble properly absorbing bile acids from your small intestine. Bile acids are crucial for digesting nutrients, so having bile acid malabsorption can lead to B12 deficiency. Imagine this pigeon is bile acid. Imagine a tiny tracer which gives off gamma rays, essentially a radioactive tag, is attached to the bile acid. In this test you swallow a capsule containing this tagged bile acid and then its journey is tracked through your digestive system using a special x-ray. The CCAT test measures the distribution of gamma rays in your body after the pill. A normal person retains over 95% of their bile acids. The CCAT test isn't a nuclear medicine test, strictly speaking, even though it takes place in the nuclear medicine department, and even though it involves a radioactively labelled compound. The radioactivity only acts as a tracer and not as a therapeutic agent, and the radiation isn't used to visualise the organs but instead only to track the movement of the tracer through the digestive system. I agreed to do the CCAT test because there's only minimal radiation involved, contrasting with what's typically used in nuclear medicine procedures, and I wanted to know the answer. In preparation for this test, I really didn't have to do anything special, particularly given my diet. I didn't have to stop taking Creon even, as my gastroenterologist did not agree uh, with that happening on the basis of the research and I did not have to stop eating or drinking. So I took one CCAT pill at eight o'clock in the morning. One hour later, I had a scan via a gamma camera to measure the radiation in my body. I had to stand very still for 10 minutes. The gamma camera detects gamma rays and it's a bit like an X-ray. The results show on a computer screen next to the camera and this is a baseline result when there's no radiation. My scan one hour after the pill was taken, there was lots of radiation. I had to come back one week later so we could repeat the scan to see how much radiation was still in my body, hoping for as much radiation as possible to be found and measured on the scan. This is a photo of the second scan. I didn't photograph the results, but they would have been on the left-hand side of this screen. The medical team used a mathematical formula to calculate the results. So how does the CCAT test for malabsorption actually work? We all know that not all of the food we eat is used by our bodies. Some of it comes out as, let's say, waste products. But while it's in the small intestine, our body reclaims and recycles as much as possible of the hard to find elements like B12 or selenium. By attaching the radioactive tracer to the selenium and then looking how much is left in the body, after one week. It's possible to work out a percentage score of how efficient the body is at recycling, which is the measure of how effective your body is at reabsorbing bile acid. Normal people score about 95% on this test. For B12 injections, you need to score under 15%. I scored 27%. This is a rubbish result. But it wasn't rubbish enough to get me B12 injections, which would have solved my B12 issue. Nutrients, which should have been recycled in the ileum, were for the most part just passing through. But it did explain why taking pills didn't seem to stop me having a B12 deficiency. And maybe a lot of other things. I had to find a different way to solve my B12 deficiency, but more on that in another video. Follow my unconventional journey against stage 4 pancreatic cancer on She Dares Live.